Hello and welcome to week 4 of Finance 510. This week's welcome message has a little different look and it's going to have a little different message than what you're used to. So pay close attention to the next few slides. I would describe the first three weeks of this course so far as being very challenging. The quizzes that were used were written to be used in all sections of Finance 510, and they've been used in the past by other instructors. We've noticed some problems and we've made some adjustments so far. There's been a few typos and some questions that I just felt were a little bit convoluted and difficult to complete all of them within 40 minutes. But having said that, this is a difficult class and we expect you to be challenged but not overwhelmed. The way I look at the progress of this class for some of you so far is that you've been pushing a big rock up a hill. Really what I want you to do is push a big rock but maybe on level ground. For those of you who have done relatively well so far, congratulations and keep up the good work. So far I've gone back and reviewed the quiz 1 and 2 and I've made some adjustments. Quiz 1 I've adjusted by 2 points and quiz 2 I adjusted by 2.5 points. I've described these adjustments in an email that I sent on Saturday. I'll be posting these adjustments soon. This is the action that I've taken so far. Now there's some other solutions regarding especially week 4's workload. When I sat back and looked at it, you had new material from two chapters, you had a quiz, you have an exam, and you have an Excel exercise that are all due. This is too much to expect from you. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eliminate all the new material from week four. That's chapter 13 and 20 and any of the lectures that um, would have shown up on week four. Now, you not Chapter 13, I should say, it regards governance of a corporation. If you haven't already reviewed this material, you will see it in other classes such as strategy or ethics or a general management class. Chapter 20 had to do with other types of investment products like hybrids, preferred stock. This is information that you should cover in any investments course that you take. So we're not going to miss much that you won't pick up elsewhere in either the Masters of Science or the MBA program. So we're going to continue on. This also includes, of course, and the elimination of quiz number four. So this week I want you to concentrate on two things. That is finishing up the, ex, uh, the Excel exercise that was assigned last week. That is due next Monday, February 5th at 1159. And I also want you to concentrate on preparing for and doing well in exam number one. Now exam number one is in two pieces. The first part is 22 random questions, mostly from the test bank, that are worth two points each. Um, so there are 44 points available out of this first part of the exam. Originally you would have had 45 minutes to complete this part of the exam. This is how it's described on the, uh, on the course page. I'm increasing that to 60 minutes to give you more time to be successful on this part of the, of the exam. Part two is 20 random questions, which are worth a total of 56 points. These questions you're going to have to do some calculations to get the right answer. So I've increased this part of the exam from uh, 105 minutes or 1.75 hours to a even two hours. Now going uh, forward I'll be spending more time reviewing and editing the existing quizzes that will be showing up in future weeks. Some of you have asked if I can give the solutions to the questions after I've graded them but I've talked with the administration they recommend against this process because it harms the integrity of these quizzes and questions that may be used again uh, in the future. What I will commit to you is that if you have a particular question, uh, issue or question about a, a exam or quiz question, I will work with you individually or within the Ask the Instructor forum to help work through that. So let's go forward. The past is your le lesson. 
The present is your gift, and the future is your motivation. Let's have a good week.